Okay, so welcome. I'm Sharice Bewley. I'm a mentor for our rural affinity group that we have at NCTC. And today we are doing an April event for you guys. And hopefully we'll give you some information that you can use about a wonderful program that we have at NCTC now. It's called Line Care. And I'm going to share my screen and show you a couple of ways that you can get to our line care, what it is, and show you all the wonderful resources about the program. So let me share my screen. Okay, so now on the screen, you should see where you can get to our line care. You can go to it a couple of different places. You can go to our website, which is nctc.edu, and you'll notice across the top there is the line care app. When you go to nctc.edu and you see the line care, it gives you an overview of what is our line care. It is a 24 seven telehealth for students and it's powered by a company called Timely MD. What is it? It's a medical and mental telehealth service to students and our part time employees. We're excited to have launched this and um, it it is 24 seven 365 days medical and mental health telecare from anywhere in the United States for our students with no cost. This is for whether you're sick, you're feeling overwhelmed, whatever it is, you're gonna be able to talk to a licensed provider using a smartphone or any web enabled device. Um, guys, here on this page too, you'll see a list of frequently asked questions. And then over to the right, there's actually a place that you can download the frequently asked questions that are mostly up to date. You can download, you can print this. It talks about what is line care, who can use it, how do I register, how do I log in, what's the cost, what can I be treated for, how do I get a prescription, and so much more. Um, there's also, we won't touch on this as much, but staff, um, you also, uh, or faculty and staff, there's, there's things on there for you to be able to download as well. But if I go back to our home page, I also want to show you a different way that you can get to your line care. If you'll go to this home page too, you can go to lioncare.care. When I click on this, this is going to take me to the home page. From here, how do I sign in? You can look here, it'll say click sign in at the top right to download the app called Timely Care. If I go to this button up here and I click sign in, this will tell me how to do that. I want to download the Timely Care app. When I type that, I wanna make sure that I don't use any spaces, just type in Timely Care. And that's how you're gonna register for this 24 seven medical and mental health care services. So you'll see the app store, make sure that you type in Timely Care, no spaces. Also, if you look at the bottom, there is a customer support number and an email to be able to help you. So let's say that I've done that. I've downloaded my app. I'm good to go. Now I need some information. What can I find out? If I go back to the page that I showed you previously, here are a list of those frequently asked questions. Again, we spoke a little bit about what is line care. It's virtual telehealth for NCTC students, providing students and part-time employees, no medical cost um, associated. You can get medical services. There's something called Talk Now, which is 24 seven mental health and support about many topics. There's scheduled counseling, health coaching, common conditions that can be safely and accurately diagnosed and treated online. Who can use line care? Well, Students and part-time employees, again, you have access to 24 seven on-demand medical visits. You can schedule those counseling appointments. There's health coaching and emotional support. And again, we'll stress it a thousand times at no cost. Students, if you are under 18, you must have a parent call first and speak with a line care team member who can help you create your account. Once you create that account, then it becomes more personal with you and that healthcare provider. We went over a little bit about how to create our account. We can touch on that again for a moment. Again, search that Timely Care app from uh, in your app store, and um, you can use any mobile advice, um, uh, sorry, device. 
put your first name, last name, date of birth, and your school email. Um, guys, let's see. How does a medical visit work? Well, our licensed medical providers, they're trained to treat a wide variety of medical conditions. Most of them are minor. Some of those, as you can see on the screen, uh, common medical conditions like a cold, if I have a sinus infection, I think I have the flu, I may have pink eye. Other conditions are things like, I, I think I may have swimmer's ear, I'm trying to quit tobacco, Maybe I think I have athlete's foot, not sure about my child having diaper rash. All of these conditions that you see on the screen. What, what is Talk Now? We touched on that just a little bit. Talk Now is an immediate access for emotional support and from a mental health professional 24 seven. You will be able to discuss with that medical professional anything from general anxiety, to loss of a family member, to something a little bit more critical. When you start a new visit, just click Talk Now, and you will be connected to that professional pretty quickly and get that advice you need. Some of those issues that you can see on the screen, I'm just having, you know, things related to women or things related to men. I'm, I'm having trouble with an addiction. I feel like I have some stress and anxiety in my life. I've got panic. Um, I think I'm having panic attacks. These types of things are what um, they are there for you to speak uh, to, to help you get that diagnosis and, and get that help that you need. Is talk now only for emergency situations? No, it is not. If um, you need any kind of emotional support, then use that talk now. If it's a critical situation, go ahead and talk with them too. If it's something that they feel that you need advanced help, they can help get you to that right place to visit with that. Um, again, how does scheduled counseling work? Scheduled counseling provides 45 minute visits by appointment. Uh, that way you're able to make that appointment with a licensed counselor when you choose scheduled counseling, you will have the ability to pick your counselor based on your busy schedule. Find that counselor and use it on when it's a time that's good for you. It's available for you to talk about, again, anything from depression to anxiety to grief and all these things that you see underneath here. The hours and timing, it's perfect because it is 24 hours a day. We understand that life is a 24 hour a day. Things can happen at any given moment, and that's why NCTC's developed this to be there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Medical diagnosis and treatment. Um, who makes the diagnosis? The, the people making these diagnoses, are li uh, they are licensed, board-certified telehealth provider physicians, nurse practitioners. It can be a physician assistant. They're going to look at your symptoms and make a diagnosis and help you develop that treatment plan. If they can't provide a diagnosis, then you may be directed to a clinic or another location to be able to get that care that you need. We have students ask, well, can I get a prescription? Yes, they can prescribe certain medications for medical visits only if it is clinically appropriate. Things that can be prescribed are things like antibiotics, eye drops, antihistamines, therapeutic medications, things like that. Um, you, you also um, need to be aware that, however, they can provide those prescriptions. They will not and do not prescribe controlled substances or lifestyle medications. Um, you can read the examples there and of course there would be more than that um, it is not an online pharmacy no they do not fill the prescriptions if the prescription medication is part of your treatment plan then it's going to be sent to your pharmacy of your choice then you're going to be responsible for the cost of any prescriptions or the over-counter treatments or follow-up needs that you might need how do i get my prescription filled again if it is um, if it is proven to be clinically appropriate, it will be sent to the local pharmacy of your choice. Um, a lot of students ask, is my prescription covered by insurance? Um, most of the pharmacies will accept that insurance plan. 
but you want to make sure that you check with your pharmacy and if it's not covered within your network before your prescription then you might either want to request a pharmacy change or visit with them about how might you get that prescription paid for. Um, what is health coaching and how does that work? Health coaching can help students stay on track with things like nutrition, exercise, stress management, weight loss. How do I, how do I help myself feel better with the foods I eat and exercising? Free visits can be scheduled with a nutritional uh, therapist, specialist, and they can help you prevent those chronic diseases by making those healthier choices. Those type coaches, they, they um, address nutrition, meal planning, weight management, all of these things that you see. Um, a lot of students might have a question of, are my records secure? Absolutely, they're secure. Um, they are stored and once you do a part of the agreement privacy policy when you create your account, your patient records are going to be shared with the campus medical clinic and the counseling center. Um, and of course, if you want to share your records with someone else outside of line care, then you'll have access to print whatever it is we help you with and a copy of those records can be sent. Um, you can always access your own records through your account that you create. Um, also, if you are not quite sure, most of us are familiar with COVID at this time, but if you're not quite sure what the symptoms are, there's a place here in this area that you can go and you can find out what are my symptoms, when do they appear, um, what happens, um, can Kindly and MD, can they, can they tell me that I do have COVID? Read up on what, tell, um, what Lyme Care can do as far as helping you get that diagnosis of do you have COVID, how can I prevent COVID, and do I need to go for further testing for COVID. Can you access line care outside of the United States if we have students who are international students? Um, yes, you may be able to access Talk Now, um, which is our um, emotional support by using a US-based VPN. But we would suggest that you also call our customer service number that you see here. We do have something called individual with disabilities access. Um, they fully acknowledge the importance of the accessibility and have made significant accessibility updates to both our web and mobile interfaces. If you need a different accessibility, interface, you're able to look here and it will give you a little bit more information of what you can do. Again, we can't stress enough, call that 24 hour service um, customer service line and they'll direct you of how you can access those settings. The cancellation policy for all scheduled counseling, psychiatry, uh, or I'm sorry, psychiatry and health coaching visits, the patient may cancel up to 24 hours prior to the time of visit. Within 24 hours of the visit time, it's gonna be considered a no-show of a live visit. And we want you to be aware that there are scheduled number of visits that you can have for this. Students have 12 scheduled counseling visits allotted per academic year. So if you cancel those visits, you wanna make sure that you're aware of the 12 that you're allowed. Um, we won't get into these bottom two, but if you are faculty and staff and you want to know what success um, now is, just a brief overview, it is something for faculty and staff to be able to better serve our students. So if you are watching this and you are faculty or staff, I would suggest you click on these two. And like we said before, if I'm under 18, I must have a parent first call our hotline um, or our customer service number speak with that line care team member and help create that account. And there's also information that you can click on. So as far as what can line care do from, for you, we wanted to share with you just a quick overview of how do I find line care? What is it? What are some of the things that they can help me with? How do I get access to it? How do I sign up? Where are the places I can log into? How do I download the app? And I think that you've seen from me sharing this screen. And if I go back again, if I go to nctc.edu, I'll see our homepage. 
And the links that I shared with you earlier can all be from this link here. So if I click on that, that's what I'll see. There's a little app here um, and that that's what will take you to this page. Um, so that is a quick brief overview of what Lion Care is. We're so excited to bring a 24 seven telehealth for our students and some for our faculty and staff. And at this time, I want to turn, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And hopefully you can see me now. And I want to turn it over because we'd like to share a little bit with our other mentors for our rural affinity group and let them fill in any gaps I may have missed or share some other information. Desiree? Thank you, Sharice. My name is Desiree Catmull. I'm also a mentor for the Rural Community Affinity Group. We want to encourage all students who fall into this category to um, join our group so that way we can better serve our students and help you with your needs that you're that you may be having. Um, I'm going to share quickly my screen with you. I just want to show you where you can access other um, resources within the page. From here, um, if you're on the affinity groups, so far off. If you go to the first page here, this is at nctc.edu. If you go student services, go down here to counseling and advising, click on affinity groups. And then these are all the affinity groups that NCTC is offering. Of course, ours is Royal Communities. And then right here, you'll see the tab for resources. You can go in here and look at community resources and they have a whole list of different resources and they're broke down by either alcohol, drug abuse services, child care resources, food services and food banks, health care and, and or pregnancy services. Um, we created these groups for, for you and we want to be able to um, help you access whatever needs that you have and a way for you all to connect with each other. So I'm going to stop sharing my page now, and I'm going to hand it over to Chester Brown. Thank you, Desiree. Yes, hello. My name is Chester Brown, as everyone said before. I'm going to start sharing my screen, and I'm going to take you to the email that was sent out. So we have, um, we have this email here bigger come on so i said hi this is chester i'm a mentor of rural community affinity groups at nctc and then we talked about other resources already you may take your um, advice uh, connecting with your mentors students and other students online with similar backgrounds and experiences as yourself. If so, then I have read this email and went to your personal um, and your school email. And then you click on this link. And when you do that, it takes you to where we were before. Isn't that kind of cool? So if anyone has any questions with inside of um, inside uh, NCTC, and where to go and what to do, then um, we're definitely here to assist you in terms of some of the things that you might be, uh, maybe have some questions about in terms of classes in Bowie, classes in Graham, um, classes here in Gainesville and other classes down in Denton, Corinth and Flower Mound. And then really kind of ask more of deep, deeper questions about what is available in Bowie and in Graham in terms of industrial technology, CTE programs, and to see how we as, um, as mentors can assist you in finding that information. Okay, well, thank you, Chester. So again, we wanna encourage you to join our Rural Affinities group, get your friends to join, get those um, that are going to school with you in areas like yourself to join because we all share common interests and common issues that are alike um, because we live in these more rural communities and that's what we're here for. So we wanna thank you for joining us. And as we begin to do more events, we'd like your feedback. What are some things you'd like to learn about? What are some things that you would like for us to pre uh, present our events on? So again, thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you the next time.
Thank you. Thank you.